Hey guys, excuse my hair first off because y'all know I'm never camera ready but I always pull out the camera. But I wanted to do a Sunday dinner video for you guys because I thought why not. I'm making Sunday dinner and I wanted to show you guys how I go about it and everything that we're going to be having this Sunday. For meatloaf first off. Clearly you'll need ground beef. I'm sure you can make like a ground turkey meatloaf or whatever, but um, that's not really my cup of tea. So I use ground beef. Then you'll need meatloaf seasoning. I'm sure you could make your own. See if I can get it to focus. You can make your own out of what you have. And then I prefer the Hunt meatloaf seasoned tomato sauce. So I have two cans of those, a ground of a pound, not even a pound, five pounds of ground beef, bell pepper, an onion, along with that we're going to have yams. And I'm going to show you guys how to spruce up canned yams and then cabbage as well as macaroni and mashed potatoes, but there's no room for it. green bell pepper and the onion get it on the road um zero so i'm going to clean my potatoes with some warm water I mean, not my potatoes my cabbage loosen it up clean it with some water just water and vinegar Okay, I'm going to get my cabbage going. I already got it cleaned and rinsed and ready. To each day on, on what meat or whether or not you want meat in your cabbage. Some people use bacon. Some people uh, use hot mats. I'm going to use the Andu Andouille, whatever, Johnsonville Andouille sausage. I use smoked sausage. A lot of times I use hot mats. But I'm just going to use this because that's what I have today. But I want to show you exactly what it was because this one doesn't have a package. And I'm going to only use one of these. Then I have my big wok-ish type of pot pan here with some vegetable oil in there. Just enough to coat the bottom. And I have it on 7 so it can get nice and hot by the time I'm ready so it actually can cook and fry it. Because that's the whole point in fried cabbage is to, you know...
Okay, the good thing about cooking is you get to make things up as you go. So that's pretty much what I do. Every time I cook, I just pull out everything I got and throw it together. So I got seasoning salt, garlic and herb, onion powder, black pepper, Cajun, because I put it on everything, garlic salt, and minced garlic, because I put it in everything. And then I got my sausage over here cooking. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my cabbage in along with my seasoning. And then you just eyeball it. You just shake it until you can't shake no more. Get up on that head, boy. So now my mom's gonna mix the ground beef. It's, it's disgusting. I don't like touching it. This will probably make two meatloaves. We're thinking. We'll see. We will see. I get just, I don't know, I'm just nasty. Put the onion. Part of my face. How do you know I was going to show your face? Oh, well, I don't know. I just don't want to. I thought I put it in there. I don't want you to show it. Don't show. You would do that, right? She's come on, come on. Need love seasoning. Like I said, you can make your own, but why wouldn't they make it for you at the store? I need an egg. We're gonna also use that. Yeah, she thinks she's professional. So tag it out. Get it. Get all the access. Put a little bit. Put that in there. Like half the can. Y'all have the can mix in. We don't use breadcrumbs like some people do. I mean, that's your choice if you like it. To each day on. Yeah, we don't. So, because it is not true that you needed to soak up any liquid or anything like that. It's not really. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. I was draining some of the fluid, some of the uh, the excess grease, grease that the ground beef will make if necessary. And this one is the boiled cabbage. Joe, you cannot touch. And both of them are cooking well, and then he just dumped it out. So I'm going to put that in. But, but just that mix, get down and dirty. Down in the nitty gritty. Get down to the nitty gritty. You hungry? You gotta flip it, smack and turn it down. Why are you smacking me? 
this is potatoes boiling which i think i show so move the cabbages to the back now i'm about to get my yams going and i just have vanilla nutmeg cinnamon and my secret ingredient where my secret ingredient is? here it go and grandma butterbur that's your grandma that's my grandma don't she look like me I think she looked like me. I'm gonna use this. He he ruined it. You can't use it because it's all ripped up there. Look at this bite. He said, let it ventilate. Hold up. Improvise when your grandson eats such a, a little coil. So it has automatic air hole. Air, automatic ventilation. Yes. So. And this is just the juice, the juice from the potatoes. And so I'm just gonna add some vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. You like ours a little sweet, so that's why they call them sweet potatoes yeah. and candied yams. Candy yams. Candy yams. Because they like candy. They like, taste like candy. Okay, so it came to a boil. So now I'm going to pour this. Ooh, steam bag. I'm going to wrap it up and throw it in the oven. Potatoes boiling. The boiled cabbage going. Fried cabbage just sitting on low. Meatloaf still in the oven cooking good. We strained the potatoes. Now we're about to get those mashing. About to put some butter and some milk in here. Because I like homemade mashed potatoes mashed potatoes you know I have to speak proper English while I'm recording you know I like homemade mashed potatoes a couple lumps in there you know what I'm saying not too put many a little milk put a little milk a little butter I'm about to get that in just a second I thought I had me some coolers here you know sometimes I like to drink a cooler every now and then when I'm cooking <laughs> You gotta justify everything. <laughs> let me justify. Let me explain to you what I'm. Oh my God! That is not a lot of butter, so you have to excuse her. She's she's so dramatic when it comes to margin. She thinks everybody's gonna have clogged arteries. When you got that many potatoes, you know you need a you know nice amount of. Don't put butter. that. Don't put that much in your yeah. You can you put as much as you like. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You only put a little bit. 
Put a little bit more milk. Because you got to have creamy mashed potatoes. I guess it ain't Sunday dinner if you ain't got a little drink. So, really though, she just pulled right there like, oh, okay, how about I just stop in the middle of the street? Yeah, bad girl, eat my burger. Excuse me. One thing I don't play is them games, baby. Don't play them games. I ain't got time for you to sit here. Make sure she get in the house and talk. And girl, call her. I'm sure I do. I ain't got no seatbelt on right and dirty. That girl, she messed me up. Being all occupied with her pulling out in the middle of the street all right i had to put my seatbelt on because i can't be out here riding dirty i'm too cute for jail one thing about meatloafs are is that they shrink very much so so this was the bigger meatloaf we're gonna have this one be the regular potato I mean not potato tomato tomato the old red one so we're just gonna pour the remainder of the can on there let it fall let it get covered it's the one i like and then i got the water boiling for the macaroni mama and then the baby one is going to be the gravy meatloaf. Make a little gravy and put that on there. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But right now we're about to put this back in the oven for a little minute. Let that cook on there just a second. Basically to warm up the sauce. Now we're just waiting in this to boil. Hot. Hot. And dinner almost ready. Hot. Okay, everything is finished and everybody's a little hangry right now. So we got the traditional meatloaf, the candy yams, the gravy meatloaf, fried cabbage, mashed potatoes, and macaroni. Normally we'll have a bake, but today the time is just time time wasn't fair. It look good? Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Crazy. And then like y'all seen we had the boiled cabbage as well. And our cookies are done.